Hey guys, uh, I don't know if it's fogging up or not in your uh, view, but it is uh, 8.30, Wednesday the 31st, last day of May. Uh, so I spent the night last night in Rutland at the Yellow Deli Hiker Hostel. Really great place, really great people. Uh, and so now I'm uh, hiking around to the other way to get into Rutland. So it's going to be a 17 mile day today. And uh, then I'll to catch the bus back into Rutland. That's the plan at least. So I'm going over around Killington today. And uh, met a lot of different people last night. Uh, met Tree Walker and Pacer and uh, I can't remember the other guy's name. And then Pete's Dragon which is a uh, basket. He hiked with him for a while. I've been talking about him. So it's cool to finally put a face to the name. And then, uh, so I'll see them all again tonight because there's no, one, no one's really leaving today. Uh, yesterday, Pacer did what I'm doing and today he's zeroing. So seems like a pretty, good idea. I don't know if I'll zero though, but that's really got to be funny. So anyways, we have a good climb today though, and it is supposed to rain. Uh, kind of starting at like two or three, and I'll probably be done around three or four. Here's a good view. Uh, so we'll catch a little bit of rain. That's nice. So, yes, we were just up there yesterday. But anyways, we just got a real light pack. I left a lot of my almost like comfort items or items I wouldn't need for a single night at the hostel, just in case something does happen. But I still have a lot of my basic equipment with me as in a uh, my tent, a sleeping bag, a jacket, headlamp, uh, filter, all that basic stuff. And then, uh, just in case I get caught overnight, I left kind of like my hygiene kit, my electronics, my pillow, uh, kind of stuff like that. Uh, my thermal top, I left those things at the hostel. So, if you want to call it a slack pack, you can, but to me, I still have all my basic equipment with, so, you know, it is what it is. I'm not too concerned. It's not, for me, it's not invalidating my through hike to hike like this, especially because I don't even think it's really slack packing since I have everything I need to survive. So anyways, I will check in with y'all later. Today does have a lot of climbs though. So we'll see how we can fare with those. And then it's just downhill from the top of Mount Killington, which I've heard the side trail point to to get to the actual top is extremely worth it. So we'll kind of gauge that when we get there. But I'm already sweating for the day. Whew. But yeah, I'll check in with y'all later. Hey guys, so uh, it's uh, 9.50 right now, but we have had a big change in weather. The sun is out, the clouds are out. Uh, truthfully, I don't expect this to last. It's not really pessimism, it's just uh, just seeing the, what, how fast the weather changed yesterday between different cycles or weather patterns. I'm just, uh, just being realistic. And that's what I called for. It's supposed to be a nice kind of afternoon or late morning, early afternoon, and then again around like three or four, it's supposed to, or something like that, it's supposed to get kind of nasty. But I'll take what I can get, you know, this is nice. And uh, hopefully it'll at least uh, stay good till at least I can get to the top. And then uh, from there, it's all downhill, so it's not a huge deal. But also I want to talk uh, 
So yesterday I mentioned I have to get a whole bunch of new supplies, but uh, the EMS in Rutland at the mall actually closed down about a month ago. So if you're relying on that for uh, to switch out some gear, don't. <laughs> uh, like I said, there's one in Manchester Center that someone told me about. And I guess I should have gone there. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, I wound up getting a new kind of food bag at the Walmart. They have those, uh, I mean, it's not too cheaply made, but I don't expect it to last all that long. And it's like a pack of three for 10 bucks. So I figured it adds up to, uh, oh, I think just under 20 liters and my food bag was 13, so it'll work out pretty good. I'll just have to use two of the two larger ones. And then, what else, what else? Um, oh yeah, so the liners and the darn tufts, I don't know what I'm gonna do for that right now. Also, uh, I know where I come out of the, uh, on the trail today, there might be an outfitter nearby. I'm kind of vague on exactly where I come out. Yes, this is the trail, all right, good. And uh, so if I have time before the bus comes, I'm gonna see if I can stop by the outfitter real quick and uh, maybe pick up some new darn tufts or at least some new liners. The darn tufts aren't that big of a deal. Um, you know, if across what, 16 or 1700 miles, they've only uh, gotten one hole in it and a few other hot spots that are kind of wearing down. I think they'll be fine till the end. We'll just be pretty mangy and rough. <laughs> but the liners, uh, if I want to keep preventing the blisters on my toes, I definitely need to get a new pair of those, especially as I'm switching into my new shoes, which I did get those yesterday. Um, I'm not wearing them right now. I'm still wearing the old ones. I figured I'd just kind of push these to the limit since, you know, I'm going to be back in town tonight if they break today, which I'm highly doubtful that they will. Uh, you know, I only have to hike so many miles in them. So that's just kind of an outlook on the uh, gear situation. Other than that, everything's going great. Got a really good resupply yesterday. More so, a lot more than I needed actually. Uh, but I think it'll work out pretty good. Then maybe I'll pick just a small one up in Hanover to top me off to get me to the beginning of the whites. And then from there, uh, I'll have to get one for the whites and I'll just play it, you know, we'll plan accordingly from there. But it's, I don't know, it's been really nice in New England having the resupplies, just uh, hardly having more than a week between each one and then having several places to eat between the resupplies. Just really makes it easy. Down south, uh, there's only so many places you could get off trail. So that was kind of easy too, because you know exactly pretty much how many days of food you would need and you just did that. And in my case, I always kind of made it really a uh, US Route 4, that's where we're going. 12.4 miles left today. So anyways, uh, so sometimes you'd have like a half day left of food, sometimes you wouldn't have any. Which is probably better to have a half day in case something happened, but anyways. You just uh, don't really know what to uh, expect up here. Some towns have really good resupply, some towns don't. You don't always have a, uh, a good option. Sometimes it's just a gas station. But anyways, I'll check in with y'all later. Um, yeah. Hey guys, so a big milestone here. Only 500 miles left, roughly. I think it might be a little more. Uh, you know, the trail changes year to year, so it's impossible to keep it uh, exact. But I mean, yeah, it's within a few miles of being correct, so. Uh, uh, not a whole lot to report. I didn't think I'd actually come into that sign today. Thought I'd hit it like tomorrow, but it makes sense uh, now that I think about it. <laughs> um, 
feet. I'm also, uh, uh, yeah, so I should be up on the uh, Killington Mountain at around noon, which is about two miles or two hour, two hours away. Maybe a little bit after that. So, anyways, I'll check in with y'all later. Hey guys, so it's about two o'clock. Um, I'm here at Cooper Lodge, I just ate. Uh, it's a really cool shelter. Um, it's really dirty on the inside. There's so much trash in there. Uh, Oh no, it's just, like it's a nice shelter, but it's just, uh, some people just aren't following, leave no trace, uh, and the thing is, that's probably only like, just a few people's trash, but that, I don't think they packed anything out, because there's just wrappers and water bottles and different camp stuff, uh, everywhere in the shelter, so. But anyway, so now it's uh, yeah, it's two o'clock. We're heading down. We got about six miles left. If I can get three miles per hour down this slope, that would be awesome. I don't think we will though. Um, but uh, we have about two hours and twenty minutes till that 420 bus. Uh, so that'll probably be the one we'll hit. If not, we have a long way ahead of us for the one at 520. So, anyways, I'll check in with y'all then.